Mac, oh my God, my friends. Hey, how you doing, man? Look, I'm here to talk about Ghost. Got the records out. I'm going to go by it. But before I get into Ghost, I am like a lot of you out there, except a lot of you out there can't admit it. I'm crazy. I know a lot of you are crazy, too. We all have our awkward things that are not normal to other people. And I got many. And one of them is, I don't know why this is, but it's just the way my brain works. I love getting into bands that's hated by a lot of people. And I'm not one of these type of people that go, I don't get why they don't like this. You know, it's great. No, no, no. I want people to hate what I love. I don't know why. It's a weird thing about me. And Ghost, Ghost, Pantera, Oasis. I love these bands. Now, unfortunately... And I really mean, unfortunately, I can't get into Nickelback. I tried, not that long. It didn't do much for me, and they're universally hated. I'm like, damn it, I wish I loved Nickelback. It's just a weird thing. So, you know, every time somebody, like, writes something, a comment, like, that sucks, I'm like, ooh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You don't like it, and I do. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing. Well, Ghost is one of them. And the, I got to tell you, how I Discovered Coast is hilarious. Uh, my band Thrash and I, we used to rent a warehouse next to a, a black, kind of like a black thrash band. And uh, they went to, uh, um, this was back in 2010, I think, around when the first Ghost album came out. They went to, um, I think it was Maryland Death Fest, or I know it was some festival in another state. And they came back talking about, man, we saw this band Ghost. They were awesome. You know, nobody knew who Ghost was. They were a brand new band. They played this festival. And they came back praising them, how awesome they were. Well, they took off. They became big. And those same band members of the Black Thrash Band were like, Ghost sucks, because they got popular. See, a lot of people out there, I don't care what you think, a lot of people secretly like stuff, but they want to hate it because everybody else does. So they don't want to be known as the, the people that, that like stuff people hate. I am the antithesis of that. And if you've seen my videos, you probably know this because I talk about a lot of bands that are like kind of universally hated. Well, anyway, this was the first album. I got the picture disc. I want to get the regular one. It does sound fine for a picture disc. Don't get me wrong. But this is the first one I heard and still my favorite. I love this album. This album was like kind of like a game changer to me. You know, I mean... Uh, Con Cabe Con Dio, that, that song is awesome. Ritual, Elizabeth, Stand By, Satan's Prayer, amazing. Um, Death Neo, Prime Mover, Genesis, this whole album is amazing. And it's still my favorite. Now, gotta be honest, the second one, what's it called again? Uh, whatever it's called, um, I didn't get. I, I actually was very disappointed by this album. But now, I mean, I've given it so many chances that it has grown on me, but it's still my least favorite Ghost album, the second one. But Monstrous Clock is one of my favorite Ghost songs. I really like uh, Year Zero, uh, that, first, that second song, uh, Per Aspira Ad Inferni. I like that one, too. There's some good stuff on here. But... I feel like all their other albums are better, and but I gotta be I gotta be honest. The first time I heard this, I was like, "Oh fuck, this sucks." The fuck, this ain't like the first album, but it is a grower for the most part. But then there's songs on here I still can't get into, but I'm still trying. All right, then they released this one. Um, what's it called? Melanora, and this is like the Lux one that brings us uh, Square Hammer and stuff. Now, this is more like it. I was like, I got this one right away. And the song that really grabbed me on this album, there's quite a few, but uh, he is. It's like this really mellow, ballad -y song, but it's so, I don't know, man. It really does uplift the spirit. Um, this is a great al album, man. Uh, uh, From the Pinnacle to the Pit, um, Circle. Uh, he is Mummy Dust. Um, it's just great. This is like a really good return of form for me. I thought this album was amazing. Actually, really liked it a, a lot. And um, good stuff, man. 
All right, and I do have some of the singles, but since the singles came on these deluxe issues, I kind of put them in the closet and probably I'll sell them one day. But this is one of the singles I haven't put away. And this one has, um, I'm a Marionette from ABBA, great cover. Uh, Waiting for the Night, Secular Haze Live, If You Have Ghost, and Crucified. There's some covers and some originals. What's this one called again? If You Have Ghost. Yeah, I had a cut in because I, I forgot to talk about a couple of their covers that I really like. I love the cover of uh, Here Comes the Sun from the Beatles. They do they make it their own, very, very um, original for them. I think it's great. But my favorite, favorite cover they done. Can't remember the name uh, the name of the band now, which I did investigate and listen to the original uh, version of it. They do a cover of uh, this song called Bible. And man, it's like one of my favorite ghost songs, period, even though it's a cover. And it's definitely, hands down, as I'm recording this, the best cover they've ever done. So I wanted to bring that up during this. So let's get back to how the original video was. Then they released this live album. What was it called? The Ceremony and Devotion. It's awesome. You know, this is pretty much all my favorite ghost songs are on here. Uh, the only complaint is I don't really like uh, Papa's little raps about, you know, go home and, ha and, and make love to your girl. That kind of thing is a little weird to me. But uh, other than that, it's a great live album. I think this album is exceptionally cool. And there's not many live albums I'm into uh, since like the late, I mean the 70s and the early 80s. Now the last one they put out, uh, this one got a lot of backlash because they went in a really commercial type uh, vibe. But I got to say, man, prequel, this album here, is my second favorite. Yep. It's very different from the first one, but God, that song, Rats. I never get sick of that song. And I love that video. Um, Faith is cool. But you see, this album, you know, it's the first side is good. The second side's even better. Uh, and the dance um, macabre, I mean, that song is extremely commercial. But I dig it. I dig it. I love Pro, Pro Memoria. That song is uh, just so fucking eerie and cool. And uh, Witch Image. Uh, you know, it's a poppy, but with lyrics like someone's flesh is rotting tonight. You know, that's so cool. But it's so dark, you know. Um... And the last two songs, Life Eternal and that other one that I don't feel like pronouncing. This is my second favorite one. And then they released this, which is a single, uh, which is, uh, I still can't get into Mary on the Cross. Though I don't think it's that bad, but Kiss the Goat, or Kiss the Go Goat. Um, man, when I first heard that song, I was like, eh. But man, it's one of my favorite ghost songs now. You know, and I like this direction they're going in. It's very commercial, but very catchy. And I dig that. This very catchy music to satanic. And I'm not a Satanist, man. I love Striper. I love Baron Cross, Vengeance Rising. There's a lot of uh, Christian rock I like. But, you know, I like, you know, the, the satanic imagery, satanic lyrics. Um, I just think it's cool, you know. I, I really do. And I'm far from sat uh, satanic. Not at all, but... Lucifer, oh God's I'm not sin him. Hey, baby! That's so cool, man. So, yeah, I wanted to make a video of what I think of Ghost. And, uh, like I said, man, very odd way to discover them, but kind of like it showed me what was to come with people that, oh, they're great, then they got popular, oh, they suck, you see? And I'm telling you, they told me they suck before the second album came out. So they already love. They already admitted they love seeing them live. They got that first album. They loved it. I they played it for me, and I ran out and bought it. And um, I love Ghost, man. They're like one of my favorite newer bands. They're different, you know. Than you know, it's not your typical, you know, heavy metal band, or it's not your typical whatever type band. They have their own niche. And I don't hear King Diamond. I don't hear Merciful Fate. In their music, I hear a lot of people accuse them of being like that, but I hear some Blue Oyster Cult in their music, though. And I did see a, a interview with Tobias, and I can't remember. I think he was denying the Blue Oyster Cult connection, but can't fool me, man. 
But yeah, as far as King Diamond and Merciful Fate, maybe because of the satanic uh, imagery and the satanic uh, vo uh, lyrics, they get lumped in with Merciful Fate and King Diamond, but I don't hear it. I don't hear it at all. But I do hear Blue is a Cult, and um, to me they're good, original, and you know, like a shot of fresh blood into the music scene. You know, they... They do something that connects with me, man. And I know a lot of people hate it, hate it. And if you leave comments below telling me how much you hate Ghost, it'll give me a charge. I, I really love when people hate what I love. Weird, I know, weird. But anyway, that's all I got to say about Ghost. I dig them, man. I dig them a lot. And I'm very much looking forward to the next album. I hope it continues that path of commercialism because I think it works for them. But if they choose to go back to the first album, hey man, that'd be even better for me. But either way, I'm going to continue following Ghost. I hope they don't let me down. Uh, the second album did, for the most part, but I like some of those songs. Monstrous Clock, I love that song. Uh, but anyway, that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you want to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. All right, my friends. Stay frosty, listen to Sabbath, and schmack a macabre.